this screen print uh, between Chepa Ferry and myself is um, about a poster to remember Vincent Chin with the background of like what's happening right now with uh, Stop Asian Hate. And uh, Vincent Chin, he was unfortunately brutally murdered in 1982 and it sparked a galvanizing force amongst the US nation to protest about the injustice that was um, uh, his uh, untimely death. He was about to be uh, married the following day and uh, two ex-auto workers from Detroit uh, blamed him for the loss of their jobs and the loss of jobs from their industry in general. And he f they thought that he was a Japanese uh, person. Uh, Vincent was actually Chinese. And they went to uh, their car to get a baseball bat and to, to end his life. His last words being, uh, it's not fair. Preceding this act were many acts of violence against the Chinese, including those that were called massacres at the time. And so by using these posters and also creating a poster in remembrance of Vincent Chin himself, uh, through to what's happening right now uh, with how the previous president uh, of the United States designated the virus as a Chinese one, or China virus. Um, it's again these kind of repetitions of histories in which the Chinese have been blamed for loss of job, uh, despite being the least uh, powerful in terms of being able to you know, make those actual economic and political policies. And so it's um, a, a poster um, to raise money to support um, Stop Asian Hate. And also the funds will go towards um, the ICFAC for uh, a scholarship that, in support of uh, social justice. It felt important to address uh, the history of um, uh, racism towards the Chinese. And so I've used um, uh, these uh, US propaganda posters that, from the Granger archive that they've uh, very kindly um, uh, given permission to. And they are posters to do with the Chinese Exclusion Act in the 1800s, in which again the Chinese were blamed for loss of American jobs. So there are other motifs than the US uh, propaganda posters. There's the lily, which for me represents Vincent Chin's mother, who became this incredible force in terms of uh, trying to find justice for her son. And she really spearheaded, you know, and became this uh, incredible voice, you know, to find uh, justice uh, for Vincent. And as a result, you know, her emotional story, you know, really helped to galvanize the nation into finding uh, Asian American civil rights uh, that at the time was missing from the, the, uh, the dialogue of finding civil rights for all uh, ethnicities of, uh, of America. And alongside that is um, also the, the poppy in reference to the opium wars through which um, uh, Western powers had invaded uh, China to force them into consuming and buying opium leading to it becoming a vul into a vulnerable state. And uh, once they've been invaded, you know, um, uh, and forced to consume opium, um, uh, many resources were taken and port cities were occupied by foreign powers. In the US propaganda posters, you know, there is a lot of blame uh, on Chinese and stereotyping them of being these opium addicts. And of course, you know, America and some of the, uh, many of the other Western nations were actually responsible, you know, for this, uh, for this condition. I want to really thank uh, Helen from the Vincent Chin Foundation uh, for uh, their, their support and also uh, we're very pleased, and I think I can speak for Shepard as well, that we'll be, we're very happy to be uh, helping uh, with uh, uh, Stop Asian Hate, but also to help with uh, remembering, you know, Vincent Chin 
um, it's untimely death, but that it helped to, you know, galvanize uh, the nation into actually finding uh, justice in the form of, you know, uh, asserting the rights for Asian American civil rights uh, in America.